This is Josiah Plays Neverwinter. I'm chilling here in the Protector's Enclave, which is the safe area of Neverwinter. And I need to talk to some Harpers about some shit. The cult of the dragon are evil, plain and simple. They must be confronted, resisted, and destroyed. You just got a promotion at your job, Blank Slate? That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, I know. The Cult of the Dragon, blah, blah, blah. They're bad because they're not us. Whole bunch of stuff involving a whole bunch of weird currencies that I don't have. Got it. And I have no idea how to get. So let's just... How can back I up off you? that. Wait. What's his other thing? Zone rewards. Oh, that just brings up my collections tab. Thanks. Alright, here's Harper Boward. Preceptor Theraclast. Greetings, adventurer. This guy looks very priestly to just be All some rando sitting on a... Is it even a chair? Is he even sitting on a chair? No, it's... Well, it's not a chair. It's a little... Crazy little bench, crazy little stool. It looks very fancy to be just sitting on this random stool. Um, so what we're doing here is... Call to the Dragon is acting up. Harper wants to talk to me about this situation, so let's do this. Can the Harpers depend on you? Well, that's how you start a conversation, huh? There's no hi, I'm Harper Boward, how you doing? Just immediately, can we depend on you? Alright. I received a notice. Thank you for coming. Please, join us, and I'll tell you what I know. 80 copper, huh? Never let it be said the Harpers aren't generous. Tell me about this cult problem. Harper Wendell in Neverdeath has sent some very intriguing reports. Apparently, the Cult of the Dragon members in the graveyard have started fighting each other. Wendell has not been able to establish a reason for this sudden rift inside the cult, but the Harpers are very interested in determining what has happened in that organization. Will you go to Neverdeath and assist Wendell? She can update you when you arrive. Well, it just so happens I was going to Never Death Graveyard anyway. How convenient. I don't know about somebody named Harper Windle. The fuck kind of name is Windle? But yeah, sure. I don't know what the Well of Dragons is, but I'd like to go there and aid in the fight. I appreciate your enthusiasm, and we'd like to be able to send anybody willing to fight. But the challenges we expect to face in the Well of Dragons surpass anything we've seen before. In addition to the Cult of the Dragon's most elite soldiers, we've heard reports of Thayan Red Wizards, devils from the Nine Hells, and dragons swarming the area. Dragons in the Well of Dragons? The looming threat of the Who would have thought? Tiamat, arriving to lay waste to Faerun. We need this mission to succeed. That's why we're limited to sending the best of the best to the fight. If you have Dude, any she chance basically of just told me I must scrub. To the in a meaningful way, we need to make sure you fulfill our qualifications. You'll need quality equipment and plenty of experience dealing with similar high-level threats. Come back when you're a little more qualified. God damn! You just told me I'm not good enough. Just straight up, you suck. I'm an honest. I have to be fighter. level sixty. Yeah, imagine a well of dragons, like, it's just, you got the normal well, right, and you lower your bucket down there, you pull the back bucket back up, and there's just dragons in the bucket. Like, you need a bucket full of dragons? Because here's the well. We just got shitloads of dragons that come up out of here. Alright. Can I knock these around oh I can oh new game new game we're playing kick the kick the barrel let's see how far in the city I can move this oh it disappeared damn it I was gonna take that barrel all the way to the other side of the city but it wouldn't let me 
Fitzhugh Montgomery. Greetings, adventurer. You have some fancy fucking armor, sir, for just a dude standing around. All is quiet at the moment. Fancy fucking armor. Learn to dragon well. I know, right? Alright, so it's time to go to the graveyard, obviously. See what's going on with my little crafting business here. Um, I forged a thing. Let's make some more plate armor. Let's uh, make some more iron plates. And even more iron plates. I get another slot for a task once I get a profession at level 10. And I'm almost level 7 in it, so that's kind of cool. Warrior's plate armor plus 1. What does it look like? Oh, it looks jank. Looks like all the other random... I used to have some armor that I wore that had this exact skin. Get that fucking weird bucket helm off of me. Okay. So... I'm gonna just turn it into refinement points. Refinement point. Let's do some irresponsible horse ownership. Irresponsible horse ownership! Things not to do with your horse. Right. So... I don't think I need to stop and do any business with anybody else in town. I can just go directly to the graveyard. I'm sure it'll be perfectly peaceful and there will be no uh, undead or anything. Rollo Grimstock is here. Rollo Grimstock looks like a bad motherfucker. Oh, Alright, buddy. Alright, never death graveyard time. The city is in grave peril. Yeah. Okay. Here's the deal, folks. If you don't want to have undead, maybe not have a place that looks as creepy as this in your city. Acolyte of Kelimvor. Retrogal book binder. Oh, I do need some books binded. Books bound? Probably bound. Ooh, the air here chills me to the bone. Yeah, this place is creepy as shit. Can I do anything for you? Oh, are you the help I was promised? It's terrible. I was going through the records of the dead in an effort to ratify Lord Neverember's inherited claim on the city when the dead started to rise. I was so frightened I left my notes in the graveyard. I'm sure some zombie or skeleton has them now. Could you retrieve them for me? Yeah, I'm sure collecting your fucking notes is a high priority for the walking dead. Oh, he's gonna pay me, though. I'm so happy to not just be paid in nothing but copper. Woo, two silver pieces. It's gonna be party time after this. Alright, so if I go this way, it leads me into some, straight into some bullshit. Cult of the Dragon. Yeah, come on. Don't make your graveyard look like this, if you don't want problems. Alright. I'm not ready for all that yet. What I am ready for is to read some lore! Reading some lore, reading some lore, reading some lore, reading some lore. Yeah, an embarrassment of riches, right? Cult of the Dragon. The Cult of the Dragon is an organization that venerates undead dragons and, to a lesser extent, living ones. They were founded by the wizard Samaster to bring about his mad vision of a world ruled by his ultimate creations, the Draco Liches. When Samaster, with Samaster destroyed, the knowledge and rituals required to animate Draco Liches is kept alive by his faithful cult. 
Even today they travel the north, promising power and eternal unlife to the evil dragons they encounter. Right. Everything about that seems legit. Here's Christopher Chettlebell. Ah, what's up, Chettlebell? I bet you get made fun of for that name, huh? Have I told you I'm a genius? Oh boy, this guy. No, you have not told me that. I have a friend who has hired, uh, I mean, asked me to help prove her birthright, lest scurrilous rumors keep her from marrying well. Unfortunately, it appears some rapscallions are so determined to slander my friend, they've altered the dates of birth and death on several gravestones <laughs> to discredit her claim to noble descent. You seem a capable <laughs> and enterprising person. Perhaps you could assist me by correcting some of those headstones. Okay, this is like when we're arguing about something and you're like, I'm not saying you didn't go back in time and alter Wikipedia. <laughs> this is like, yeah, they altered that shit. Sure they did, buddy. Sure they fucking did. So you want me to go fucking deface some gravestones and, and perpetuate a fraud on your behalf? Well, you just can't say no to three silver, sixty-one copper. Alright. For the love of- I'm gonna be so rich after this. Just like 33 more of these quests and I'll have a whole gold piece. I don't need any of these things right now. Or these things. I've seen this guy before around. I'd ought hater. I've seen him before. All beings should wa- were you just saying that to yourself? Are you literally just standing around saying, like, pithy phrases to yourself? We must stop what is happening in Craftsman's Rest. Okay. Sure. How can I help? Thank you for coming. As if this nonsense with the Clockwork Guild Tomb wasn't enough, now the courtists are fighting amongst themselves. With any luck, they'll all kill each other. Oh, I just got my 87 copper. Woo! Alright, what is Sharthraxis and why is the quest blue? Oh, I think blue means it's a daily quest. The new cultists have been busy recruiting new dragons into their service. The cultists in Nevadeth have convinced Carthraxis, a foul-tempered green dragon, to aid them here. What? Defeating Carthraxis may buy us some time to learn more about what the new cult is up to. I don't remember there being a dragon in this graveyard. I thought I remember the first dragon being in Helm's Hold. Maybe this is new content. I mean, I know there's a shitload of new content. Since I played this game. I'll get a cult secret. Some dragon horde coins. Cool. What else? Scouting reports say that this new heretical faction of the Cult of the Dragon is holed up at the back of Craftsman's Rest in an area known as Merchant's Landing. Like their brethren, these new cultists appear to be looking for something. Reports also indicate both groups have been going at it tooth and nail, but the new cultists have repulsed all the attacks by the old cultists. A green dragon has been spotted circling the area and may be assisting the new cultists. As much as I hope the two groups wipe each other out, we need to know what is going on here in case this factional warfare spreads to other locations. Neither side is likely to tell you anything useful, so go see if you can recover any useful documents from the casualties up there. Collecting documents, that's what I'm all about. That's what I'm all about. Collecting them docs. Alright. Um... What's the bounty situation here? The only thing worse than the undead. Or the vile necromancers who control them. Alright, this same guy is in every fucking zone. Either that or all bounty masters just look exactly alike. 
it's required when you get the job of bounty master like you require you understand we're going to have to magically alter your appearance to look exactly like this one guy right what's the bounty here bring me necromancer sigils and you'll be rewarded these sigils can be found here in neverdeath on Thayan mages and whites, on members of the Order of Dragons, and on the undead which both groups control. Right. And I can get different packs with different amounts. I have zero necromantic sigils. These horrid sigils are used by evil magicians who seek to control the dead. They want me to wade through zombie hordes to collect various scraps of parchment. I know, right? And they're not even willing to pay me any sort of reasonable sum. Here's Captain Zemmer. I don't have any jobs for you right now, adventurer. Got it. Future quest giver. I understand. Well-informed Harper? No, these guys are never, in fact, well-informed. Oh, there's Doom Guide Doomface. So here's the little mini graveyard outside of the real graveyard. Acolyte Naaman. Are you seeking the aid of Kelimvor? Not really, no. I'm pretty much good without the aid of Kelimvor. Thanks, though. A necromancer raised up my father as a zombie. Whoa, whoa. The fuck? Oh, that must be Drogar Battleborn's pet. Wow, that thing is what the fuck. Weirdest spider. Doom Guide Orin. We must be eternally vigilant over the graves of the departed. So, being eternally vigilant is what you've come up with to explain what you, why you're just standing around here doing nothing instead of fighting the undead, huh? That's, wh why are you just standing around here doing nothing? I'm being eternally vigilant, man. Oh, okay. Graveyard history. Yeah, we got some lore. Graveyard history since the ruining. The last 26 years following the ruining have been unkind to Neverwinter. For the most part, the city has been in ruins, hence the name The Ruining. Only a small determined population has hung on and kept the city from being overrun by outside forces. As far as I can tell, only I have kept the city from being overrun by outside forces. All the fucking guards and everybody I've seen have been standing around doing nothing. I think it's pretty much just been me, by myself, personally keeping the city from being overrun by orcs and bandits, and now it's going to be undead. During these years, the dead have been buried in any available space. These recent graves have much simpler markers than those from prior time periods and are clearly handmade by the mourners left behind. Right, that explains the little shitty graveyard over there. Okay, Doom Guide. I was looking for how to get to my doom. Uh, can you guide me? Kalimvor, watch over you. Whoa, this guy looks pretty intense. Um, what is going on here? I am Doom Guide Volok. The Eternal that. Order of Kalimvor. It's ask my that. mission to see Neverwinter Cemetery reconsecrated and the city purged of the undead. Didn't ask all that. In the last few days. There has been an alarming surge in the number and power of undead creatures rising from their graves. The city is in dire peril unless they are contained. We were caught by surprise. Many of my acolytes died, overwhelmed in a sea of the unliving. I ordered the survivors to fall back here to the approach, but we will not hold this point long should the undead attack in force. Right. So, all of you combined can't do anything about these undead, but I'm gonna go in there by myself and whoop that ass. And yet, Harper Lady tells me I'm not good enough to go to the Well of Dragons. What caused these? There are dark rituals that can It's always gotta be dark rituals. Dead, to cause an uprising on such a scale, this must be the work of powerful necromancers. Imagine, if you will, a dark necromancer. Spotted in Pauper's field. I'd wager that means Valendra is involved. Clearly, she has not been idle since her initial attack on the city was repulsed. Again, by me. Let's keep that in mind. Um, okay. 
Valindra must be stopped. Tell me what I can do here. You need some documents or something. Thank you for coming. Although it humbles me to admit it, the Doom Guides of Kalimvor need aid against the undead. Our resources are stretched to their limits. Yeah, I get it. You're fucking useless. I understand. You've got fancy ass clothes, and you don't know how to do anything useful. I get it. Only a small, determined population has hung on to pay a single adventurer laughably small sums of copper to keep this city safe, right? No shit, right? Okay. Ooh, more lore. Hold on. Eternal Order of Kelimvor. Kelimvor is the god of death. He teaches death is a natural end to the cycle of life that should not be feared. The priesthood of Kelimvor serves both the dead and the bereaved. They perform funerary rites, counsel the bereaved, and ensure the dead are allowed to rest peacefully. Death is part of the natural order. The undead are not. They are anathema to the cycle of life and death in all ways, and thus Kelimvor demands their destruction. Got it. What you mean is Kelimvor demands that his followers stand around doing nothing and sending other people in to destroy them. The number of undead in the graveyard is growing at an alarming rate. If something is not done, I fear they may overrun the rest of Neverwinter. I sent a detachment of Doom Guides to deal with the undead in Pauper's Field. Their leader, Doom Guide Severin, sent an acolyte back to tell me they were descending into the area known as the Rift. Dun dun dun. Then, we have heard nothing. I would like you to find those missing Doom Guides. Speak to Acolyte Naaman. She can tell you more. Okay. We've met. This is my personal angel. I have a feeling I know what would happen if I jumped down there. I, I'm pretty sure I tried it out already, actually. Back in the olden days. And what I discovered was... You die. I know, it's surprising. But you die. Acolyte Naaman, what's up, Scarface? Oh, sorry. Is that insensitive? Uh... The other one told me to talk to you. I'm so worried about Severin and the others. Let me know what I can do to help. Why did Severin and the others enter the rift? We spotted creatures moving in the rift that were not undead. Severin suspected they might be behind the mass rising of the dead, and wanted to investigate. He sent me back to inform Doomguide Volok, but that was yesterday, and we've heard nothing since. I grow more afraid for my friends with each passing hour. Please, you must find them. I will do this. Alright, here we go. Dun 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 That person is fucked. Dun 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 The Rift. Oh, I see why they call it the Rift. Because it's a massive ass Rift. Man, the fucking little cataclysm they had here really fucked this place up. I see some bad guys. What if I jump up on here, though? That proves fruitless. Okay. Hopper's Field. My map insists that I go to b both of these areas. But what if I... C oh, it's a zombie hole. I wouldn't like him when he's angry. He started trying to go after my angel. Oh, no you didn't. Got some residuum, now we're talking. Hi, everybody! Man, these motherfuckers are really pissed at my angel. He'll die.
I dotted him up. I knew he would die. Let's do some religion. You gotta pray just to make it today. And sometimes when you pray, the gods reward you with bear ask wood. Whatever the fuck that actually is. I'm just gonna kill these zombies over here. Just gonna kill these zombies. I feel like I'm not doing my job if I just run right past them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's another paladin. He doesn't need my heals. He's got his own heals. Alright, we're going up in here. I think I'm overleveled for this area, and I'm super overpowered for my level. So, basically everything in here should be a total joke to me. I got a seedling. Somebody just came through here and cleared the undead out or something. Hey, I see you, Arcana thing. Hey, guys! Ooh, I just got a Lich's Phylactery. I think that's a quest item starter thing. Liches get stitches. I got 99 problems, but a Lich ain't one. Liches be crazy. take a look at what I got here. This strange dark jewel radiates dark power. Darkly. Touching it, darkly, something dark whispers in your dark mind. Alright, let's do it. Foolish adventurer. You have picked up no mere bauble, but the phylactery of Zaraflax, all-powerful lich. Now, prepare for a battle of wills for your very... You know, I'm really just not into this. <laughs> Let me be upfront with you. I'm tired of the epic battle of good against evil. I was controlling that undead you destroyed so I could find a nice, quiet spot where my phylactery won't be disturbed for a few hundred years. You seem a capable sort. How about I offer you a reward for helping me find a resting place? Why would I do this? Why would I do this? This is so incredibly out of character. No, I should destroy your phylactery and erase you from this world. Why would a paladin be like, sure, no problem, Lich. I'll help you hide your phylactery. I accept. Because you know what? It falls under the I had a quest protocol. Anything you do is excusable in these games if you had a quest to do it. I had a quest. <laughs> Your Honor, I had a quest. Ah, case dismissed. <laughs> Alright. Um, right. Perhaps these three silver are enough to entice you to betray your very nature. Bone Porter? These guys just port some bones around. What do we have going on here? Oh, is this me defacing... defacing... Look, it's even in quotes! Press F to correct gravestone. It's even in fucking quotes! <laughs> because you've been doing some bullshit here. So palandic. This is the most palandic shit ever. Alright. 
Yes, I used the word. It's not a word, of course. I mean, we know that, but at this point, I might as well just use it. Quotes! <laughs> I remember that now. Quotes! Oh my god. Yes. Quotes! <laughs> That started when you were playing one of those Call of Duty games and whenever you died you would get like some kind of inspirational quote or something and then I would say quotes whenever you die is that is that right am I remembering that correctly still say it to myself whenever I die in any game I'm playing <laughs> Nice. So I'm defacing gravestones, and I'm gonna help a, a lich hide its phylactery. I have a feeling- I think my character has really fallen from grace here. My angel that's following me around is just face palming right now. Don't break your arcana kit. Let's get some bright leaf and bounce. Loot just come what is that? Is that one of their skulls that just bounced over there and rolled along the ground? I forgot what I'm even supposed to be doing here. Besides the face and graves. Can I go in here? No. I'm supposed to be collecting documents from defeated cultists, but this isn't even the cultist area. So, I can't do that here. I'm supposed to take a phylactery to- how the fuck do I know where a good resting place for a phylactery is? I mean, the answer is I know because I can just look on my map and one of these things will- right here. Apparently here's a good place. But how does my character know that? Alright, we're gonna go up onto this little plateau right here. Hey, buddy! Oh, more. Had to drop the Templar's Wrath on them. They didn't like it. What's happening? Oh, a red wizard. Hey, motherfucker. Burning light. I've killed 250 skeletons. And a handful of red wizards. This is an evil ass altar. Whatever this guy was doing, I'm sure it was bad. I'm sure it was bad. There's the rift. Welios is here. He probably just killed a red wizard by this altar. I haven't found any documents yet. What's going on up here? Hello, hello, well. Well, I got a scroll of identification. And I can thieve some shit. Apparently you need to have a special kit to open up these backpacks. What's up here? Now we're talking zombie hulks. I'm gonna jump and charge through the air. I love that little move. I I love how it lets you actually go through the air if you jump before you do it. Why are they obsessed with killing the angel? She doesn't even do anything. Well, I mean, she will heal me on occasion. But, like, it's not that big of a heal compared to my own heals. And it's the only thing she does. I'm sitting here annihilating them with holy power. And that angel's sitting back there doing nothing. <laughs> and they're like, kill that fucking angel! But there's nothing here. 
I have a feeling this is like a future quest where I'm gonna have to go around and kill these red wizards and I'm just killing the red wizards now even though I'm not supposed to be that's my feeling I don't really care. I'm not very task oriented when I play these games. I just kind of wander around and do my thing in an area until I somehow have accidentally completed the objectives. Alright. What is that? Correcting history over here. Alright. Somebody else has an angel. I thought I was unique and special. There's another one of these things over here, allegedly. Oh yeah, there is, right there. This is really rude. I've corrected history. Here's a lot of bullshit going on over here. A lot of bullshit going on over here. Don't even think about it, Bone Porters. Alright! Tempo's rough! Come on. You're just opening a backpack. Don't break the shit. Wellios is still here. Oh, he summoned a sh- oh, I forgot about my artifact! All this time! I forgot about my artifact. I could have been using this to summon my own little shopkeeper guy, and when you summon him in combat, he comes out and he throws, like, some incendiary elixir onto your enemies as a convenient service of the, uh, the company. Plus, like, there were a couple of times... Oh, who's... Alright, your last name is literally Tomb Robber? <laughs> this place gives me the willies. Sure, buddy. Smiting boots. These boots are made for smiting, and that's just what I'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna smite all the way. I was smiting before there were boots for it. This is yet a different bridge across the river choir or whatever. <laughs> See ya. And I wouldn't want to be ya. I want I want those coins. I want that 14 copper. If you're a tomb robber, can a graveyard really give you the willies? Well, this one can, apparently. This one has extra willies. Oh, look at that creepitude up there. Zombie hulks, lol. I remember when you were scary. I don't, I don't really. You were never scary. I was just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm just too overpowered for this place. Well, okay, these creatures are four levels lower than me. And I'm super overpowered as well, so... It's no, it's no surprise. It's no surprise. I'm gonna do some Arcana. I got some cotton scraps! Man, that's arcane as fuck. Oh, uh, I think I just went to the place of another quest early. I think I have to go in that area to do a quest later. And now I'm just wasting my goddamn time. <laughs> uh, I'm killing so many undeads that I don't need to kill. You know who's not? That Doom Guard guy. He's standing around still. Ooh, an orb. Scrying orb. Let's see if I can get to it. How do I get to it? Oh, the angel just jumps up there like it's no big deal. Alright, hold on. Let's see if that'll kill him. Just got something cool. Crescent Insignia of Courage. Okay. Look, motherfuckers. Okay, thanks. That's the beautiful view of Popper's Field. Wow, take your pictures here. Taking selfies with Popper's Field behind me, like... <laughs> Okay, I completely didn't need to come over to this whole area. I need to go to this... I've been everywhere over here except for this one little spot where I need to go. Motherfuckers! You know what? I'm gonna let that group unlive. <laughs> Stungineer. Ooh, a dusty tome. It's fucking useless, actually. I think this is the last one of these. I need to find the phylactery rest- Oh, apparently this constitutes a location for a phylactery. No, this won't do at all. The Doom Guides have been here. I can still feel the smug sanctimoniousness of the rituals radiating from the very stone. How did we end up with undead hating Kelimbor as the god of death anyway? I, for one, blame Siric. Now, children, there! Of course, Paul and Nurgle had their qualities here. Bah! I'm rambling. Let's try the next spot. Right, the next spot. I got you covered. Yeah, there you go. Take a big heal, son. Jose is here! This is like when that guy, Weefy Balls, named his fucking boar pet Steve. This guy's got his companion and he named his companion Jose. I just, for some reason, that's hilarious. Although it doesn't beat Weefy Balls and Steve, obviously. Weepy Balls and Steve. 
Apparently that's the next location. Gone far beyond the days of the Crystal Restore, but I got you covered with the Crystal Restore! Man, I thought these Red Wizards were supposed to be a lot tougher. Just saying. I think those motherfuckers are overhyped, if you know what I mean. No, no, no. This location is even worse. The fans would surely find my phylactery here. Then I'd either have to tutor some young power mad necromancer, or become a lackey of Zastam, or end up trying to reason with Valindra Shadowmantle. Now, don't get me wrong. I respect Valindra's dedication to evil, but that woman is simply not right in the head. No, this location won't do either. Let's try another. At this point, I just smashed the fucking phylactery. You don't get- you don't- beggars don't get to be choosers, man. I don't even know where the best place is. Oh, it's apparently right there. Alright. Got you covered with the Crystal Restore. Over fucking powered. What have they done to this place? This would have been a perfect location. Commanding view, lovely stonework, and now look at it. Ruined. I bet this was done by some greedy adventurer looking for a few measly gold pieces or a paltry magic sword. I tell you, there's just no respect anymore. That doesn't. I've been searching for the perfect spot for a decade, and apparently there's no quiet place left on all Faroon. Well, this is it. I'm done. Take me to a doom guide. Let them destroy me. I don't want to unlive on this planet anymore. Sounds good to me. I'm on top of the world. The disgusting undead world. All right, I think I've done everything in this in this section that I can do. So it's time to go back to Yeah, that whole heroic encounters thing with the dragon, that's new. There was no such thing as that back when I played this. Christopher Ch Chettle Bell. I will lay down my life in Kalimbor's service. Alright, Doom God. Kalimbor, watch over you. By Kalimbor's blade. This is the phylactery of a lich, a powerful undead mage. It is a miracle it did not try to consume your very soul. We Doom Guides strive to destroy the undead, but for one this powerful, that may not be possible. Fortunately, we've constructed an impenetrable vault in a secure location which can safely hold such evils for centuries, if that's what it takes. That sounds like a good idea Curious. where nothing could go wrong. I'd swear the spirit within seems to be laughing. It must be mad. No matter. We shall imprison it without delay. Yeah, you lock all these fucking incredible evils up in your supposed impenetrable vault, and then somehow it gets penetrated one day, and a whole fuck ton of unspeakable evils come out at the same time, and you're like, oh shit, we can't deal with this. Just saying. We've been down this road before, pal. Return to the bookbinder. Wait, when the fuck did I get the lost notes? 
I have lost notes. I don't see any lost notes. Well, I must have got them because... It says I got them, so whatever. I got your lost notes, bro. I got- I'm so good at getting lost notes, I didn't even notice that I'd gotten your lost notes. I've lost too many friends to the undead. Okay, now I'm stuck. Here you go, lost notes. Ooh, the air here chills me to the bone. I have your notes. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much work I put into these genealogies. Smash the halts. He gives me a new quest. Anything else I can do for you? With my notes in order, I'm planning to finish my task here in Neverdeath. The undead are horrible. But most cannot overcome a decent barricade. Of course, that does not apply so well to the zombie hulks. If I'm going to be holed up in a tomb, I need to be sure one of those monsters doesn't smash through and crush me. I would really feel much safer if you could kill them. Just the really big ones. You understand. I will do this. Alright, so, we kill some zombie hulks. Hero of Neverwinter's here. Alright, ass neck. Have I told you I'm a genius? I have corrected the errors on the tombstones. This is wonderful news! With these changes, er, uh, corrections, all <laughs> barriers to Miss Monini's entry into the nobility fall away. I will report to her at once that the rumors of her low birth can now be disproven once and for all. Level 31. I just gained a fucking level. Alright. I get a feet point. We'll put that into gifts of light. I got a power point, which we will put into... I think I'll take Cleansing Touch now. But then I have to get rid of something. Should probably keep Burning Light. I want to keep Smite. Rewards for those who fight Necromancers and the Undead! Guess I'll get rid of... Templar's Wrath. The thing is, I don't really need Cleansing Touch right These now. These are harsh working conditions for a scholar. Like, I'm gonna want it later, but I don't really need it now while I'm soloing. I won't even use it. So, I'm gonna buy it, but I'm gonna keep Templar's Wrath on my bar instead of that for now. Okay, here's a lot of bullshit in my inventory that I don't want to deal with. So let's just leave that alone. Oh, I can wear my new boots now. So what I want to do with these boots is I want to take my old boots. I want to remove the enchantment from them. Paying a gold 50. Seems like so much money considering how much I'm getting paid for these. Then I want to improve the new boots with that enchantment. Then I want to wear the new boots. But then I say, oh no, the new boots don't match my color scheme and stuff. So I've got two options. I can either make them look just like the old boots. Or I can dye these new ones with my Dragon Slayer's dye. Which will make them match my ensemble. I kind of like the design of these new boots. More. So. I think. I think I will keep them. These can get sold. And I'll use some of this dye. Agile Greaves. Change appearance. 
and if I use the Dragon Slayer's die, it makes him look like that. Which there is must good. Be better uses for an intellect like mine. And now I'm now I'm squared away with new boots. Okay. How am I doing on my this stuff? I made some armor, I made some iron plates, I made some more iron plates. I'm gonna make some I could make some more of this warrior's plate armor. Which is worth even more XP, so I'll do it. Then I'll make some more of this plate armor. Then I'll just make some more iron plates. Alright. Tell me where I'm even going. Oh, I realized I was supposed to do a thing right here. And I did not do said thing. That's why I haven't advanced the main quest yet. I'm supposed to come over here. And... Like... Ah, right, and I go into this little mini dungeon, mini instance thing. Let's head in here. Right, the rift. I need to end this episode, however. So, if you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere, because I am not done playing. But if you're watching... Whoa, hey now. Whoa, crazy town. But if you are watching on the YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. So, thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Neverwinter.